What's up guys? We did a few things while you were away. Got the covers on. Still need to put the badge on, which I'll show you in a second. He's going with a 34 GTR badge. Got fuel done. Looks pretty neat. Got the charge pipe done. I layer control plumbed. Still need to do water pump and timing belt. And I think we're back ordered on an exhaust manifold, unfortunately. Turbo's here. Uh, we're getting the front po cover polished. And I'm not sure if that power steering reservoir is going to work there. We'll see. It's probably going to be uglier and shit either way. But yeah, let's throw this badge on. Yeah, that's money. Oh yeah, damn, it looks good. Kind of a red and black theme going on. Doesn't look too bad. All right, so we got the water pump in. We can go put it on. Clean up all the shit. Got all the timing set stuff as well, so we'll be doing that. Stay tuned. Six mil one in. A slotted pump always make sure and fill the shit out of this hole otherwise it will leak things that people manage to fuck up the most. I haven't moved this since we pulled it apart. I'm gonna verify quick how it fits. Make sure that we're still phased properly, but we're just gonna get it on quick. Oh God, I got it backwards. All right, now, pull the one side slack. Should probably crank it around a few times just to make sure your shit's in line. If you ever wanna double check how uh, the crank is phased to exhaust cam, you count valleys starting at zero on the crank and going all the way up to uh, the exhaust gear, and that should be 47. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Just to verify. So we got 47 valleys. 
Let's. Always be careful rolling it around the first time. Okay, so the spring tension for the tensioner should be just about enough to get you your proper tension. But I never trust that entirely. Especially the old worn out springs if they didn't give you a new one in the kit. So what you do is you take And then you tighten up everything to where the exhaust side is tight and you have a little bit of slack on the loose side. And then you take a tape measure, stick it up against the water pump like so. You want five millimeters slack one way and you don't want to have to push it real hard just wherever it stops. And we have about six. So I'm gonna tighten that up a little bit. Six millimeters is better than four millimeters. You can run six, you can almost run seven. When you start running about seven millimeters is when it'll start flapping around and you'll hear it buzzing. Four millimeters, you'll start hearing the cam journals try to whine, starting to whine a little bit which is not good. If you hear whining coming from your cam journals, like fairly loud whirring, you got a problem, or you need to loosen your belt up. Oop. Oh boy, we're close. Okay, we got about five and a half. I'm happy with that. Always keep your Allen in there when you're going to torque it down so that it doesn't slip on you while you're torquing it. When everything you did, when every, if everything you did lines up, you just go to top dead center on the balancer, which would be the first guy, and we check our teeth on the cams. Now I can go ahead and torque your balancer down to like, two, it was like 250 to 350 foot pounds. Always uh, put some molly on the threads. Helps the next guy if you gotta tear it back apart. Cause yeah, we couldn't even get this guy apart without with the clutch the way it was. For some reason this car, this car was an automatic, and whoever swapped it to manual put in a 20 trans and then they went and beat the shit out of it doing donuts and stuff and roasted this the 20 clutch. So we put in a nice spec clutch. Yeah, now you're ready to start the trigger mount, the cast mount and the front cover. So don't judge me on this front cover cut because I didn't do it. Customer cut his own hole and it was quite a ways off, probably like a quarter of an inch or more. Making a 26 cover set of covers fit a 25 is never fun. So I always recommend you go with a plastic cover on the front. Save the OEM stuff, firstly. And then if you fuck up the cover, it's not like $300 to replace it. It doesn't look terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible. Clear cover also allows you to keep an eye on your timing belt. We run that on, we run a clear cover on all the high powered stuff just because it can save your motor if you don't. One, one good pass will wreck your shit if you're not, if you have a bad belt setup going on. 
Next thing will be the trigger kit, which he bought like a, just a plate kit. It's not like a PRP one. Um, simple enough anyway. We'll get that swapped in and should be good to go. Next will be manif manifold stuff. We're waiting on Platinum Racing products to get us six boost manifold and just about ready to start tuning it. All right, so a little update on the monster truck. Many of you know me, I run an 18 inch wheel and a big tire. And it's not really working out very good for going super fast. Once you get past like a thousand horsepower, uh, I need to run like a 26 inch tall tire. This here is a 27. So we are going to switch to something. I can't tell you yet, but it's gonna be nuts. These are cheapo ESR wheels. We are not doing that again. The next ones I bought are insanely expensive. But yeah, we're dropping down to a 275.40.17, which should still clear the Evo brake setup. You guys wait till you see what the hell I got planned for this thing this year. But yeah, man, until the next one, we'll see you guys later.